Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since you've probably seen my face. I really just mainly have been doing monthly plan with me is because I am so busy. Um, I am preparing to speak at Pinner's Conference in Salt Lake City at the beginning of next month. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, if you will be in the area, be sure to stop by. I will leave a link down below so you can check it out and buy tickets if you'll be around. That would be awesome. Um, I'm definitely super excited. I'm going to be teaching a class on how to decorate and plan in your bullet journal. So it will be for 2019. It's just in time. A lot of people are starting their 2019 bullet journals in November. But on a different note, today's video is a little bit different. Clever Fox Planners reached out to me and asked me if I would review one of their undated planners. And normally I don't do these, but I get a lot of people with the same concerns. And those concerns are generally that they either don't have enough time to set up a bullet journal or they don't feel creative enough. Um, so this is a great option for people who need a little bit more structure than just a regular bullet journal, but don't want so much structure, just like a planner. And after reviewing their product and looking at it online, I agreed to do it because it seems like a great notebook. Now I haven't done any pen tests. I haven't really flipped through it a whole lot. So we're gonna do that together and I will give you guys my honest review in the coming video. So stay tuned for that and we will jump right in. Okay guys, so let's jump into this review of the Clever Fox Undated Planner. Um, first off, it came in this super nice, almost like a gift box. So if you wanted to give this to somebody for a gift, maybe for Christmas, you could um, wrap it and it would be really nice. <clears throat> then opening it up, there it comes with all kinds of little stuff. So it comes with some coupons, which I will share with you guys so that you guys can get your 10% off. Um, I will put the code in the description and this is for 10% off if you're shop on Amazon so if you decide to buy this make sure you go to the description and use this code and I saw this online these are stickers so it doesn't really give an explanation what each one is I suppose you can just use them for whatever makes sense to you so there is like this little gift icon and these are circular so you could use that for like um, a birthday this could be workout Maybe this, there's a little check mark on the heart with a fork and a knife. So maybe that means like eating healthy, um, maybe bill paying, um, reading, I don't know, yoga or meditation. You could use these for whatever you want. So it does come with three of these um, sticker sheets that have these little icons on it, which comes in handy, especially when you are planning out things like in a monthly view, you can just hurry and stick these on there like the birthday ones and you know when those are coming up. So that was a nice touch too. So this, I did look over this when I very first got it. This is a how to use your planner, which I think is super helpful. A lot of people get planners, especially undated planners, or even when they start with a bullet journal and they just don't really know where to start. So this little insert gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to use your Clever Fox planner, um, which is really nice. And it shows you examples too. So let's get into the actual notebook here. I'm gonna set the box aside and take this off. They did a very nice job packaging this so that it doesn't get damaged in transit. So the first thing I notice here is that this notebook is pretty thick. If I grab a, ooh, a Loish term and compare them in size, the Clever Fox Planner is quite a bit thicker. Um, the cover feels really nice. I actually think it feels nicer than the Loish term. It's kind of soft, but it is a hard cover. And this is faux leather, so no real leather is used, which is awesome. I'm all for the faux leather. So then it comes with this little thing on the front um, that says non-dated weekly planner. Achieve your goals and increase your productivity, passion, and happiness. So Let's see what else we can see right off the bat. So it does come with an elastic closure, like most bullet journals, which is super nice. It comes with a pen loop, which the Loish term doesn't have, so that's pretty cool. Um, the back expandable pocket, that's pretty good size, and it actually feels pretty sturdy. And the other thing I noticed right off the bat is that the paper is like 
brilliantly white. So again, we'll just compare it to like the paper in a Loish term, which has a yellow hue to it, kind of like a reading book would have, where this has a very bright white paper. So when you very first open it, um, it flips you right to a place where you can put all of your contact information um, in case you were to like leave this at work or leave it at a school or an event or something so somebody could return it to you. Um, it even has a place to write your reward. So I suppose if you lost your notebook and somebody found it and you said <laughs> reward $25, they might be more likely to return your planner. So then we get into these pages that I think are awesome. This is something that like your bullet journal doesn't have unless you put it in there yourself. Um, but here it's already pre-laid out for you, which is really awesome. So you have a page for gratitude and self-awareness and space to write what you're grateful for, um, what you're passionate about, what brings joy to your life. Um, and then this says my daily rituals, skills to learn and habits to adopt this year. So these are kind of like goal setting pages what you want to do over the course of a year, my affirmations, um, so what you tell yourself and be positive about. So saying, I am healthy, I am worthy of love, things like that, which are great in any situation, even if you're not journaling. <clears throat> so that was a really cool thing. Um, vision board, they think they discussed this here in this little pamphlet so you could cut things out of magazines or print things offline or use hand lettering and you could create a vision board for your life and a lot of people use these and find that they really work because they can open it here and then it's motivational so I really like that addition the paper does feel high quality it feels thick it's smooth and then you have a place for your goals these are yearly goals and this kind of reminds me of like level 10 life if you guys have heard of that um, there are different categories so you have categories in health business and career family and friends significant other and romance finance personal development fun and recreation and spiritual and so it's missing two if you were talking about level 10 so this is like level 8 life <laughs> Um, so then we move on to my focus for goal number one, two, three, four, and five. I believe they also talk about this on this one. So this is step number four, and it says choose your five most important one-year goals and break them down. So here are your five most important goals, and then in your mind map, you would break those down into actionable steps of how you can achieve those goals. So now we're going to get into what looks like the monthly and yearly view. So this would be a monthly spread. So there are one, two, three, four, five rows, um, which is usually enough. You usually don't need six in a month unless like it starts on Saturday. Now I do notice that this has a Sunday start. I am a Monday start person, so this would kind of throw me off a bit. Um, I have always started everything on Monday, my weeklies, my monthlies. So that would throw me off, but that's totally up to you. Um, I do like this addition down the side. This might be something I would even include in my own bullet journal. Um, it says plan, so habits to adopt, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, and people to see. So these are all things that you wanna do within the current month. You also have a place to write in your goals for the month. And then at the end of the month, you would fill in these. So this is things that were good, so your victories for the month, and then things to improve on the next month. Now. This is the other thing that I'm kind of questionable about. Um, the way they have this laid out is that all of your monthly spreads are at the front. So there is enough room for 12 months and they all look the same and they're all right at the beginning. And then you get into your weekly spreads. So this is a weekly spread. I definitely prefer to have one monthly layout and then four weeks, but I get why they did it because it's unplanned and certain months have four weeks, certain months have five weeks. So this is probably the most reasonable layout. I just, it's, it's different for me. So here's the other one that throws me off. So they start their monthly spreads on Sunday and they start their weekly spreads on Monday. So that's kind of weird in my opinion, but I like the Monday start. Um, I do think that this is a decent amount of room so you have enough place to write what week it is here. 
and then the actual date for each day. Um, and I think having this many lines is plenty for like um, tasks. You could just do um, on this side and then when you have it filled up, so you have four here, you could move over and do four here. So this is your weekly view. Um, and then you have this week's main goal. It's awesome that they included this. I think it's always great to have one big main goal. If you have to pick one thing that you want to accomplish all week, what is it? And then there is a space to write in a reward if you achieve that goal. And then you have your priorities for the week, a space for notes, a personal to-do list, a weekly habit tracker, which is awesome. And then similarly to the monthly spread, you have a place to write in your victories for the week and then how you will improve the next week. So again, this there are 52 weekly spreads. So we are going to try to find the next section because the next section is these dot grid pages, which are really cool because if you are looking to get into bullet journaling, say you wanna start with something like this, you want to start with an undated planner and feel like you should work your way into bullet journaling, this is a great place to start. You kinda of get a mix between the best of both worlds. And so you have this where you could practice and um, try new things, you could create your own pages, you could create budgeting layouts, you could create layouts for different trackers or collection pages, and it's just a good place to practice. Now there are a couple things I do wanna say about these pages. First off, the dots on these pages are super dark. Again, I will pull out my Loish term to show you the difference here. These are much larger and darker gray than the dots here. Also, these appear to be very closely spaced, somewhat like what I use. Um, I use a Nuna notebook and they have a three millimeter spacing where the Loish term and most standard dot grid journals have a five millimeter spacing. So this is a smaller spacing, but you can still work with it. Um, and I'm not 100% sure how many of these pages there are, but I'll kind of flip through. So you have all the pages to the back. So I would say about a quarter of the notebook is made up of these blank dot grid pages. They do not appear to be perforated, but that's okay just because they're at the back of your planner. I wouldn't worry too much about it. So overall, from looking at it, I really do like this notebook. I think there are a couple things that are a little strange in my opinion, just the difference between the Sunday and Monday starts on the monthly and weekly, and then the large, really dark dots. But aside from that, I think it's a great notebook. It seems really awesome, and again, the people I would recommend this for are people who love the idea of a bullet journal or like the idea of flexibility and being able to track more than just to-do lists. Um, I think it's awesome. So this is a great place to start for people who aren't quite ready to bullet journal or just want a little bit more structure than just a blank dot grid notebook. So with that, I did want to get in and just see about how certain pens tested on these pages because even if you just are going to do a lot of writing in it, you might eventually want to move into using some more colors and different materials. Um, so I wanted to do a pen test. This is 120 GSM paper, so it's thicker than the paper in the Loish term, and it should hold up to these pens rather well. So we will see. Um, we'll just write a couple words here in different pens, especially things that are known to somewhat bleed or go through, and then we'll look at the back of the page to see. So I wrote the word Monday in with a Tombow marker. Um, I've had issues with these bleeding through in other notebooks. Now I didn't stop and just let my pen stand still because sometimes that's the cause of it. So we'll just do this and let it sit for a minute and see if it bleeds through to the back. <clears throat> the next one I'm gonna grab is a Crayola Super Tip. I haven't really had many problems with these so I'm not expecting this one to show through but I wanted to test it anyways. So we'll just write.
And then the next marker I am going to try out is the Tombow Twin Tone Markers. This is in from the pastel set, so it does have a dual tip. We're going to go with the thicker tip because usually more ink is going to come out of this side, which would cause the bleeding or the ghosting to happen. So for this one, we'll just write a short word and go kind of slow so that the ink really has a chance to sink in. Got to really put these notebooks to the test. All right, mild liners. These are notorious for showing through, especially in notebooks like the Loish Term or the Moleskin. So I'll just take and draw a line and then write, I don't know. I don't know if anybody really writes with this side of these, but so we'll do that one. And then I did just grab a standard black fine line pen. This is a 05, so it's a little bit thicker and I'm just going to write the way I would normally write. Um, so let's see. Pick up milk, like a to-do list item. And then this one is a lot like the mild liner. This is the Stabilo. I never know how to pronounce that word, but the Boss, and these are the pastel highlighters. So these are a lot like the mild liners and they have a really thick, watery ink. So they're also known for bleeding through. I have had problems with these in my new no Nuna notebook um, and I love them. So it always is kind of frustrating because I don't like to use them. And then the last pen I grabbed was the Tombow Foodie pen. Um, because I have in the past had issues with these bleeding through or ghosting through certain notebooks. So let's give it a try in this. I don't know why my hands are so shaky. <laughs> All right, so let's turn the page and see how these did, and then we can make our final decision on if this notebook is worth it. Oh my gosh, nothing, you guys. There is nothing, I don't see, I don't see anything. Maybe right here, which is actually the Crayola marker, but barely, like not even enough to notice. Like I, the only re reason I'm noticing is because I'm looking for it. But aside from that, there is nothing there. Now the only thing I didn't test in here that you may want to would be watercolor because watercolor can be kind of pain in the butt no matter what notebook you're using or how good the paper quality is. But as you can see there is no ghosting and nothing going on here. So that is awesome. I am super impressed. Um, so I say yes. I say that this is an awesome undated planner if you are looking for one. Um, I might have missed a couple of things. It does have these three ribbon bookmarks. I didn't mention that. So it does have three ribbon bookmarks and it comes in a variety of different colors too. I have them pulled up on my iPad and I can show you. So I asked for the pink notebook. So that is the one pictured here. They also have a black color, a blue, an orange, the pink one that I have, a really pretty purple, a pastel pink, they call it rose, I really like that one too, and then this turquoise, which is also really pretty. So there are a number of colors to choose from, whether you want to go bright or you just want to stick with something a little bit more plain like the black. So there are a lot of options there. Um, you can see the price right here that's on Amazon. Right now it's $20, um, but the prices on Amazon change sometimes. But again, there will be a discount code down in the description if you guys want to check that out if you want to buy one of these. So I hope this helped you guys and if you are struggling with your bullet journal or you just don't want to start one or are too nervous, this would be a great place to start and I do highly recommend this planner. So thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you guys again soon.